Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We got ourselves a replay analysis. This is 2v2. Uh, we got Rufuzzle here. This is Grand Champ 2. Uh, in the title of his uh, replay, it says 1600, so that's GC2. Very low GC2. GC2 starts at like 1575, so... Um, yeah. Breaking through the 1600s. Breaking into the 1600s. This is a loss, he says, so... All right. Um. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that the um, the replay, the top of the score there is switched. Okay, that's fine. It's a good play. You put on, you put on a lot of pressure, so. It's good. All right. Good cheat. Good cheat. You're following the play. It's fine. No big deal. It goes into your corner. Nice. I yeah. I, I would turn around sooner, but it's not bad. They waste time by going for a pass rather than a direct shot. Well, boost. That's a good block. No, that wasn't really intentional, per se. Um, <laughs> to, like, push the guy into the ball, but it works. Okay, that recovery could be a little better. Um, know your teammates behind you. Um, why did the screen shake so much? I'm not playing with screen shake, but right here. What the heck was that? I, I guess because of the wave dash. Um, usually you would want to drive challenge. I mean, the odds of you getting beat to this ball are very high, even if you don't see where the enemy opponent is. Like, he drove past you, and he could turn around quickly, and, and you're just landing like this. So just kind of just understand that, like, you're probably going to be beat anyways with this ball. It's only a matter of time before they touch the ball again, right? They're not just going to let you do whatever you want. So just stay on the ground. So on the ground rotate out like this dead and then you can go for it you'd probably be standing over here probably i mean you could stand back post once you rotate around but um since you see this guy this oliver guy right you'd be watching oliver and covering the pass closer and you'd be able to stop it here so um your teammate kind of got absolutely obliterated in the corner. Um, I mean, even even he could have just kind of rotated um, farther back. Once it's in your corner, it's safe. He can just turn around like this. Dead. You know, but you don't want to rely on him doing this rotation. You, know, you got to re rely on yourself. So one more time. Uh, we will just turn around. Land. Just turn around. Get out of there. over here this is the one time where you can go uh near post so you can reach the pass faster and you hit it over this way and you have a nice free clear this way so um it's a mixture of both of your guys faults you mean over committed in the corner and you didn't uh you didn't um drive challenge got demoed there oh teammate got trashed for some reason uh, he got bummed. It's not really his fault. He doesn't want to jump because if he jumped early, he, he might have had a bad touch on this ball. I mean, he could have jumped sooner, though, like right here. He saw us go, this go Darl kid. But, I mean, it's just unfortunate. He was getting completely killed. Um, it's no big deal, though. No big deal. You're down 2-1. to one. Four minutes left. So, it's not a big deal. Definitely winnable. That was close. Um, you have to watch what your opponents are doing on this. These situations, you gotta watch the car language. But you go for boost. It's fine. But I think you should kind of... Instead of waiting for him to do something, just automatically go back to, 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 uh, to goal. Because you, you're kind of hesitating. You know? So just kind of like keep going like this. You'd be a little bit more ahead. Almost got scored on there. But it's all good. That's... Yeah, I, I think you could have avoided him a lot better. You had ball cam on this whole time. I mean, you, you flicked it a little bit. The camera to see where your teammate was. But even still, you still hit him anyways. Um... You should definitely 
try to, um, like, you see him here, right? Like, how much time you see him? Just go out this way more. Or just stop, so you don't get demoed by this guy. I don't know, just, or, or even jump, you know, like, just try harder to avoid your teammate. I see everybody's been using the Fennec recently, too. Seems like the Fennec meta is, like, coming back. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was always around, but it's becoming really popular now. Okay, this was a bad challenge by your teammate. You weren't even back yet. Like, how can you possibly protect your teammate now if he messes up? And look, he, he makes a bad 50. A lot of mistakes are that uh, you challenge too early. Good, good positioning. Nice, you're far back enough to recover. Nice, soft touch. Nice. Okay, that could have been a lot better. You didn't have to twirl like this. Right? Like, you could have done this a lot better. You could have made sure. Just do it simple. Just literally just um, make sure that you're taking this slow. You definitely could have done this a lot better. Now it's putting pressure onto your side again. You guys get score on again over here? Wow, it's on there. Oh, yeah, your positioning is too wide. You're too wide here. You're, you're, you're positioning like a threes player. <laughs> it, this is a good position for threes. Because you're waiting for the next opportunity for a pass, or if they mess up, or if they do a 50, a good 50, and you're, and you're there to, to catch it. And then there'll be like a third guy like right here, right? No, th this is twos. You should be over here. Watch. See? And he just hit it out instead. Nope. <sighs> he played too close. It's a little thing like that is what kills you. You're not aware of your, uh... You're not aware of the play. You're not understanding that, like, well, I can't cover for anything if it goes bad. Always position for the worst case scenario. Every time. You can't trust your teammates. That was a good, um... First touch there. So fortunate. See, this is why you drive challenge. If he just tried to jump after the ball and missed it, he would not have demoed you. But see, he dro he drove. And look, he's able to recover. And be in the play again. Wow, your teammate got killed. What is he doing up there? What is he doing? Oh, I see why. Mm, he should have he should have stayed right here. Just slow down and stayed right here. And then he, he could have saved it a lot easier. He trusted way too much that the guy was going to throw it onto the backboard, even though there was plenty of space to just keep it low. It's unfortunate, though. A good boost deal. Hit your ball. I wouldn't hit this up. Um, what the heck? That is lucky. That is so lucky. I would have caught this ball, honestly. I would have tried my best to catch this ball because you got so much space on the ground. See, when you're in the air, you realistically can't change your directions. You know, you can't power side cut or turn around if something goes wrong. You know, if you had this open space, why not just set up a flick play? Or what you do is you roll the ball on the ground and then go around the ball and then demo him on the ground. I don't like how you do like an air dribble bump play, but the same thing, but on the ground. Because this, you basically just gave him the ball at this point. You weren't going to catch up to this. But you actually read the the hit right, the, the block. So your play was, uh, this play was probably more riskier than um, the previous play, but it ends up working out. Oh, that's good. I think you could have cheated a little bit closer. I don't know. Sometimes I, I cheat to how you're doing. Like, if you're really far away like this. It's all by chance, you know? If you decided to take a risk and cheat closely, you would have definitely got this ball way sooner. But, um... You could have maybe 50'd it, because... You guys are both pretty much the same distance away. But that's alright. It's not bad. It's good to bail out like this early, and then figure out a challenge like this later. Because now your teammate's behind you and he can help now. 
Okay. Nice. Okay, you could have waited. Watch. Watch this go Darl, kid. He, look, he's, he's turning. He's literally facing the wall. You're fine. And he knows you're, he's beat if he tries to challenge it. Because if he went after it, then this would have been a good play. But since he didn't, this was a terrible play. He threw away possession. Unless your teammate's to the right of you and you think he can recover for a pass. But again, you don't want to trust that after you just saw that he was trying to demo this guy. So you don't know how he is. So you can... You can, um... Just, just keep the ball close, honestly. Just, just catch it. So catch it, right? Dribble it, and then like flick it, or a low fifty, or or the ground uh, dribble bump play. You have so much more options. All right, let's see here. All right, it's a good position, my teammate. That's good positioning. Mm, I would have, I would have let him hit the ball actually, because you're already facing behind like this. You're facing away from the play. He has a more forward momentum than you do. You'd have to turn all way. You have to go backwards. But then that's always awkward. So just kind of like stay on the ground, you know, it's instead, okay? and then just like catch the ball. I mean, now your teammate stole it, but you get the point. What is happening here? That's fine. Okay. You're getting too close. Are right, you lucky that the 50 didn't happen? Because if it did happen, you're probably screwed. Good challenge. Nice try and demo. Nice. Fortunately, you guys lose this game. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, someone's over my house right now, so um, I'm trying to fix something with the bathroom. Uh, bathtub faucet leaking a little bit, so sorry for the noise. Oh, it's so lucky. Definitely would have gotten punished. That's unfortunate. Um, you know what you can do is people in this rank are going to be very creative, so they're going to start using the ceiling a lot more. You can see so you have to think like a smart player, right? You got you're gonna have to realize, okay, the play I'm doing now, what is a counter that my opponent can do? Well, he can go on the ceiling, and sure enough, he goes on the ceiling. So rather than hitting the ball away, why don't you just air dribble it close so you do an, a 50 instead? But with this, you give the ball away, your teammate's in a bad spot. Just barely saves the ball. He should have. He shouldn't have jumped on the wall though. He should have just drove into it. Actually, no. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have been able to hit the ball. Never mind. But um, yeah, he gets a lucky save. That was dangerous. So just go for uh, an air dribble. That's all. You don't have to hit it away every time. This is risky. Yeah, I, I do that too, but it doesn't work half the time. Kind of like cutting off your teammate, but. I guess it works. I guess because you're not trusting him anymore. I mean, it's fine, but... Like, you don't have to trust your teammate, but that doesn't mean to, like, completely overrule his positioning either. You know? When I say don't trust your teammates, I mean position according to what your teammate's doing. Like, position to help him out. You know? What ended up happening here... Your teammate just didn't... I don't know what he... He should have stayed still in that. Oh. Uh, I mean, he could have possibly... He should have just... He should have drift turned this way. And that's it. He, he was cutting into the play. Like, right here. I'm going back post, right? So I'd be like this. Instead. Done. But nah, your teammate kind of fails. <laughs> Five to three. Still winnable game. Still winnable. Oh, wait, down two points. Comeback is real. <laughs> nice trying to challenge. Uh, I don't like to go for these that much anymore because of this exact reason. I don't know what it is, but I could never just seem to win these at all. 
Like, you jump sooner before he does. He's starting to jump. See this orange shit? He's starting to jump. And you're already jumping, yeah. but... He's faster than you. That's why. That's why he beats you, because his boost is this way. And I think you're just, like, feathering your boost. So, he ends up beating you anyways. So, this is very risky. Your teammate could have gotten scored on here again. My god, those guys. Those guys should have scored this. How do they fail? See, your teammate is not smart, either. Like, he should have just turned around and went to back post. Like, there's certain points where you can go get the mid boost. But if you see this... Yeah, I would turn right around this way. See? I cut this play off sooner and hit it out that way. So, it's a mixture of both of your guys' faults at different points of the game. I think he could have been a little faster than this. Mm, nah, he, he hit the, the post, so not really. Alright, so what do you do? Okay, you go up for this because it's dangerous. Wait, how do you get... Wait. Oh my god. What happened here? I, I honestly think you should not have went for this boost. You already have 44 boost. That's plenty of boost. Turn around back on the wall. So, okay, you're down here. But go back up again. And just go... Just save it from... Uh, using the backboard. So, go up again. You know, and you can jump out. So what does your teammate do? So I think he could have used the wall better. I mean, instead of going for boost. Yeah, I mean, I think he could have hit this ball better too. I don't know. It's tough. He, he only had a small amount of time to, to get comfortable, which is here. This is the comfortable, getting comfortable here. But he knows that some guy is going to be going for this. So he has to go immediately. And he doesn't have time to line himself up. So, um, man, this is a tough one, honestly. I, I think, I just think he could have used the backboard. In all honesty, you already have 44 boost. You don't need 100 boost every time. Yeah, I, I just think you could have just used the wall. Like, I'm trying to do this real time with my camera. Like, you go up. Yeah, like... Yeah, see, you could have jumped out and hit it. It would have been a little tough. It would have been a double commit, but you would have had more of a better shot at this ball. And plus, they double committed, so you would have had a nice, easy clear. That's tough, though. Um, there's positional mistakes on both of you guys' parts. Um, yeah, this is a solo queue, so you, you don't know what your teammate's doing. Um, yeah, so... I would just be more aware of your... Um, your positioning your mechanics are fine it's just uh i think you're a little bit of your decision making on where you should stand is a little bit off um you're not totally lost but like it's enough to where like you get punished because you're either too close or you're not recognizing like your teammate might get beat to something you know like just play more farther back a little bit and you'll um you'll start seeing that you can actually prevent a lot of like those easy goals so um yeah just focus on like positioning for the worst case scenario for your team uh yeah so hopefully this helps you uh rank up this game was actually pretty tough to analyze especially towards the end because there was a lot of like 50 50 options like like um 50 50 cases where it was probably your fault your fault but also your teammates fault it, you start to see also is that if you make a mistake, your teammate's going to make a mistake. Or if your teammate makes a mistake, then you're likely to make a mistake. So in order to prevent from like both of those happening, you would have to stay away from your teammate as much as possible. Uh, you're going to have to position behind them like 90% of the time. So um, yeah, so this is it for this video. I hope this helps. I know you sent another replay of a, of a win. Um, I think I'll upload that one probably tomorrow. Um, but once I'm done with you, I have your threes, I think. I know you sent me a threes, so I got to look at that too. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm almost done getting through all these replays. Um, so yeah, well, that's the schedule. Um, I'll do another replay for you tomorrow.
Well, yeah, if this helps you, don't forget to leave a like. Um, hopefully, um, you send me a like a like a screenshot of you hitting like a a rank that you never touched before. Even if it's just like another division, you know, if you're stuck in like you're in sixteen hundred, so you're in like GC two division two. Yeah. So maybe if you never touched division three before, or division four, uh, send a screenshot. I'd like to see it. Uh, yeah. So to all those watching, hopefully this helps you too. Um, to those in the rank area as well, like GC1 or GC3. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.